Into the catching pen, the time was 19 and 74. Stakes for three-year-old fillies at 1,100 metres. On Victorian debut comes the informed Sydney sider, Mumbai Muse. Yeah, she brings really good form into this, winning the Brian Crowley last time out. Prior to that, she was all around the good fillies in the lead-ups to the flight stakes, so I think she sets up well. Brian Crowley is our replay where she beat the boys, of course, back against her own sex today, overcoming trouble to do it. Yeah, she was good, wasn't she? Here she is in, in behind them, and as you said, overcame trouble to, to get the job done here, held up and nowhere to really go. But once she gets out, I love her dash late here. She's a filly that's been improving with every run. She was right there in, in some of the lead-ups. The Furious ran third, of course, there behind uh, the likes of Tiz Invincible and Kamachi. So look, uh, I think she's been improving and the reason I say that is she seems to be getting out of the gates better. Early on, she was slow out so she seems to be learning her craft a lot more. Heart of Glass was dominant on debut at Ballarat on speed that day. Some win, wasn't it? Um, obviously got to take that form now to 1100 at Flemington from the 1000 at home, but ran sensational time and looked very smart in doing so. Saltier looked the winner at Mooney Valley, just missed there, probably wins in another stride or two, so hits this race nicely and excess has been going really well too, but happy to go with Mumbai Muse with that stakes form from Sydney. Good brother, let's have a look at what's happening with the bookmakers. Saltaire is 7.50 into 6, back to 6.50. Cigar Flick is 6 to 6.50. Mumbai Muse, 7 out to 8.50, back into 7, well supported late. Heart of Glass, 8, 8.50, back to 8. Money for She's All Shenanigans at odds, $15 into $12 into today off a of freshen. Super freshen up and was good behind Shiva last time out. Excess through that same race as well, went fourth at, at Caulfield. Uh, wasn't far and away in a Group 3 prior to that and was a winner here at this track and distance, three back, beating Stretton Angel. So I reckon that's the, the figure and performance that a lot of the uh, the late players are uh, sort of revolving around to, to sort of get that move in for sure. First run in 1983, last year H2O beat La Donsance Rouge, Flying Evelyn beat a very fine red in 2021. Written Beauty won it the year before, Sistar in 19, Blue Roche in 18, Jorda 17 and Sprite for the White family in 2016. For the Red Roses stakes, here's Matt. And girl at the moment they're just trying to get her to stand in the right direction and uh, that's not working at the moment although they've been able to cajole her forward and in she goes so fire lane bossy nick inhibitions to come along so uh, bossy nick ridden here by uh, chad schofield for tony and kelvin mcavoy had a memorable uh, Quinella in the Maribyrnong Plate on Tuesday. There's Fire Lane going up with Craig Williams. So uh, for those just joining uh, the respective broadcasts, we're now on a good four. Upgrade coming through at four o'clock. Now Bossy Nick uh, coming forward. So these uh, fillies have uh, taken a little bit of time to load. The, the attendants have had their uh, work cut out for them here. Here's inhibitions to take an outside alley with Mickey D. So they're just about locked away for the running of race number seven. As Mumbai Muse, Tommy Berry is gonna take the extreme outside for the Bachelors Red Roses Stakes. Mumbai Muse goes up to the outside and the field is set to run. They stand well, right across the track here. She's all shenanigans. A little bit on the toey side. In fact, it's Fire Lane that's very, very edgy. Gates are back in array. Fire Lane away very well. Was one of the initial leaders in the race with Princess Duhello and Aditi on the outside. She's All Shenanigans is in the top four or five with excess. Also not too far away is Princess Duhello up in about seventh from Inhibitions on a galore. So Garflick is midfield. Then came Appen Girl. Next in the race, Aviatress. And then came Heart of Glass. Well, back here comes the star with also Soltair. Mumbai Muse and Red Date. So it's excess the leader up towards the middle of the course at the 650 leading by a length of Deity and She's All Shenanigans. Then Princess Jew, Hello Fire Lane. Next is Bossy Nick waited with about four off the front and then came uh, towards the inside Heart of Glasses making up some ground from Honor Galore. Here comes the star. Couldn't get a run and Cigar Flick trying to work into it. Excess is the leader at the 250 from Soltaire giving chase. Then Appen Girl and Mumbai Muse right down the outside. Sol 
Saltair with 100 metres to go. Appen Girl and Mumbai Muse charging. Saltair grabbed by Mumbai Muse over the top and one. Mumbai Muse soft in the end. And next Saltair, Appen Girl. Aviatrice for fourth. And then came Excess. And here comes the star. Behind them, Bossy Nick. She's all shenanigans. Honor galore. Then came Heart of Glass. Cigar Fleck and well back in the field. Aditi, Princess Dew. Hello, Fire Lane. Bossy Nick inhibitions and last red dates. Mumbai Muse, sprouting wings right down the outside, up against the outside fence virtually. Saltair went to the front at the 200 metres, but all of a sudden there was a wave out wide and it was Mumbai Muse. Going on by under Tommy Berry for Michael Freeman to go back to back with wins and first win at first start in Victoria, Brad. Yeah, nice performance, wasn't it, down the... Uh down the middle of the track late or down the outside. Um, she seemed to travel really well into it and use that turn of speed. We know she has. A little bit of a surprise to see how much she got out to $8 there late in the piece. But look, you got to feel for the connections of Salt Air. Looked like she won at the Valley and then looked like she was going to pinch it again today and then just covered late. Appen Girls run really well too. But um, Mumbai Muse, nice filly. Brad's on top.